Okay, now when a string is vibrating like this at one of its fundamental frequencies, when we've got an integer number of loops on the string, then this is called resonance. So we've seen resonance before. It's when the driving system frequency is equal to one of the natural frequencies of the system. Well, that's what happens in standing waves. When we get standing waves, we have a resonance. So some questions for us to try. One end of a horizontal string is attached to a vibrating blade and the other end passes over a pulley. A sphere of mass 2 kilograms hangs on the end of the string. The string is vibrating in its second harmonic. A container of water is raised under the sphere so that the sphere is completely submerged. In this configuration it vibrates in its fifth harmonic. What is the radius of the sphere? Okay, so raising the water here is going to create a buoyancy force, which is going to change the tension in the string, which is why we're going to end up with a fifth harmonic here, where we only have a second harmonic here. So we're going to need to use that to work out the volume of the sphere, and hence the radius of the sphere. 